Hey guys, Tyler with Ligari Products, and today I'm gonna to be doing a brass base coat with our black effects. That's right, only two colors. Obviously we have an array of colors that you can choose from, but sometimes simple is better. So that's what we're gonna do here. I have the brass metallics in this bag, and then I got the Ligari effects in this container. And again, it's, the effects are awesome because you don't have to mix more epoxy. It's a liquid. Simply dump it out, blend it around. A lot of different techniques that you can use with this. And I'll show you guys one of those in this video. So before you guys coat your boards, make sure they're level. If they're not level, your resin is gonna run and wanna flow in different areas. You'll get like run marks, drag marks, streaks in it. Um, we wanna keep that design the same as when we dump it out. Another thing is make sure your corners are rounded. That way when we do pull the tape, it flows over nice and evenly and you get a good coat on those edges. And last but not least, make sure your board's clean and free from dust or debris. So primer, very simple, 3 8 snap roller. We wanna de-shed this, we wanna get all the loose hairs off, any fibers that are on the roller, we wanna get that off. And then when I'm, uh, I'm gonna be mixing out of a gallon and a half kit of primer. So typically you wanna do about 0.4 ounces to 0.6 ounces of primer per square foot. Easy way to figure that out is take your square foot, times that by 0 0.4, 0 0.6. And I always like to make a little bit extra because these rollers will soak it up for smaller projects. And that's dependent on the porosity of your surface too. Sealed surfaces, it'll go farther porous surfaces is gonna soak it up and won't go as far. So obviously MDF, very porous, it's gonna to wanna to soak up that primer. So I'll probably make about three to four extra ounces just so I have enough with the board soaking the primer up and also the roller. So first thing we're gonna do is shake up our part A, shake up our part B. And then I'm just gonna be using a measuring container that has the ratios on it. Here's two to one. So I'm gonna go about 10 ounces. So I'm gonna go to the two mark for the part A. And then on the one line, I'm gonna go to the other two. So two to two, that's gonna give us a two to one ratio. And it's gonna make about 10 ounces. And just make sure you're on the right mark when you're doing this. You're not on the one to one or three to one. Always double check. Make sure you're going up to the right mark. Just like that. And then our primer calls for 10 ounces of clean cold water once you have your ratios. So we have about 10 ounces, so I need to add one ounce of water, which I have here. So we'll add that. And we'll stir for about two, three minutes, scraping the sides and scraping the bottom. So like I said guys, the roller's gonna soak up a lot of that material right off the bat. All right guys, so I'm gonna go over mixing. I'm gonna be doing multiple kind of little dirty pours just to get some really cool veins in it with the black effects. And I'm gonna show you that process. 
So we're gonna make three quarts of resin in the container here of clear, and then I'll pigment that, and then I'll dump into here the, the brass colored epoxy that we're gonna make here, and then I'll add the effects, dump it out, pour some more brass in, add some more effects, dump it out, and that'll create some really cool effects out on this board. So again, we're gonna make three quarts. So our part A is gonna go to the two quart mark. And we wanna get this as exact as we can. I like to get it close and kind of slow it down and get it right on the mark. Just like so. Now we'll add the part B and go to the three quart mark. Cause it's two to one. And again, make sure you get it exact. Now we'll add the brass metallics. And then mix with the paddle wheel. Scrape our edges. We always like to use a secondary mixing bucket, especially when you guys are doing larger projects. Mix into your first mixing container and then dump it into a second bucket. Mix that for another 30 seconds and that'll ensure you don't have any soft spots in your resin. All right, so we're ready to go. So like I said before, I'm just gonna be pouring into here. And I'm not worried about this dripping on the board. It's all mixed in. Make sure you shake up your effects. And then we're just gonna kinda add in a little bit as we pour. And we're just gonna randomly dump this out. We can always add more as we're going.
All right, so I'll grab another bottle of Black Ligari FX. Now again, you can add as much as you want. You can leave it like this. I could dump the rest out and just kind of blend everything in. All I'm trying to do is just fill in all the spots. Once I got my pattern out there, I'm just going around and just helping some of these spots fill in. But I, have, I still have some resin in here that I can add some more effects to. So I'm gonna do that to get a little bit more black out here because I really like how a lot of this is looking with the black. Get a little bit more black out here and get the rest of the resin dumped out. We'll be good to go. So I'm gonna go around and just hit spots that need a little bit more product. So it's kind of like a dirty pour, but standard kit. Pretty cool little process here. But you can see how easy the effects are to use. Definitely want to get some black coming through here. Alright, now we're just going to fill in, help fill in the surface tension out here. With our fingers, you can use a squeegee, piece of cardboard, doesn't matter. Notice so I'm just kind of going with the pattern that we have out here. Might as well use all the resin we got. Just hit our edges with it. And if there's any spot I want to add more black, I can get some really tight fracture veins out of this. All right, so we don't have any surface tension spots out there. Everything's kind of filled in. Now I want to rub my edges in and then we'll mix it with isopropyl alcohol. All I'm trying to do is get rid of this surface tension. I'm going to slick that off with resin. That'll let everything flow over nice and evenly. So if you guys don't want like the craters and the effects that isopropyl can give you, you can just mist the surface with denatured alcohol. That'll help everything level off, release any air that's maybe left in the resin. So I'm gonna do, I'll do this, this side isopropyl and then this side denatured and then we'll show you the difference. 
So here's the, here's the isopropyl alcohol. And then misting denatured alcohol. See how it doesn't create a bunch of cells like it did over here. So this half is the isopropyl alcohol. Creates a lot of cells in that black effects and then this it doesn't really do a lot to it. And a lot of these in the brass are just gonna dissipate and disappear all these little dots. But a lot of the effects in the, the black will stay there. All right guys, so we'll let the denatured alcohol kind of dissipate off and then I'll just spritz the whole thing with isopropyl to get it to look like this. And then um, that'll be it. We'll let this thing set up and show you guys the final footage.